the flying and the tower in the sea tubes, flying parenchyma, uh, three ciliated metal arrays with flying fibers. The most important thing in Sincona is its flying fibers. As I said, first, in the, in the TS, they are regularly arranged, lignified and regularly, uh, uh, regularly arranged. Lignified, that means it is stained red with, with chloroglucinol and HCF. should see a red color. That means lignified. And description of the fiber is very important in Sinkhorn. Why? It should say that it's fusiform, fusiform, or spin build shape, striated wall, the wall is longitudinally striated, and funnel shaped piece. And show the light. We are not regularly located in groups or singly, as you have seen in the TS type. More details, this is the fiber and the how it looks like. Um, as you see, it's thick wall, it's a thick wall, narrow human. Uh, final shape bits, maybe it's not very clear here, but it's really for a very uh, large fiber. You can see it by your naked eyes. Yani, I'm going to put the powder on the slide, you can see the fiber. We're going to put it on the slide. You can see the microscope. You can see the fiber on the slide. You will see parts of the fiber. You can see one end or the other end of the part of the fiber. Uh, the difference between stem bar and root bar is the end of the fiber. For the stem bar, they have uh, acute or uh, fusiform form in shape. For the root bar, they have a forked end. The end of the type is a forked end. But in the stem bar, they have a rounded end. Hopefully, I can see a picture. Here the piece, the uh, part of the fiber, more magnified. So you see, it's very thick wall, that color wall, narrow human, lignified, big funnel, funnel shaped piece, little malle, big funnel shaped piece, little malle. The part uh, of the fiber, very characteristic uh, for. Uh, Root, the metallic fork is flowing fiber, uh, still rides, no secretory tubes. Then the difference between the stem bark and the root bark is forked flowing fiber. So the end of the fiber will be forked, like two ways. Uh, still rides, yes, rides, no secretory uh, structures. As I said, uh, key elements of the powder, most important key elements, cork and flame fibers. Those key elements. Sometimes when I ask you in the exam, just to draw the key element of powder. I mean two things. Cork and flying fiber. I thought the same with the had only flying parenchyma. It's more than a good goal. Key element, mana, and an eye. And my food had it, I would be made up in me. Simple. The man I came with key elements. Now tell us, draw, if I say draw the elements of powder sincona, you draw everything. But if I said, if I add the key elements of powder sincona, that means 
I need the key element. Key element that means if you see any of these elements that that's conformatory, that this is simple. Okay? The key element T, the part of synchrona, the cord with its brown content and flowing fibers. This is cream fiber, this is fusiform part of the fiber, striated wall, wall thick, striated, lignified, narrow lumen, funnel shaped piece. Glycosides, chromatin, with crystalline acids, they were 